Number 10 in 88 films age range comes The Flying Guillotine. Watch out! <laughs> Here it comes. This is a, an awesome movie that was just... Uh, it just just draw dropping does exactly what's advertised. It's a flying guillotine. Uh, we ha open up with the emperor's armies who have developed this new weapon. It's a long distance weapon, um, and and it's basically kind of like a circular device. They have to throw it. Uh, if it envelops somebody's head, they can then yank it, and it's got these blades in it that just decapitate uh, people. So this movie's got a hell of a lot of decapitations and they're wonderful when they come and the basic tale here is we have our, our main character of Matting who I think that's the right character um, is someone that works within the army who's learning this new weapon of course um, as they practice and have to learn how to perfectly throw this every time um, he becomes a little bit disillusioned as the emperor becomes uh, very paranoid about his enemies and starts to get people decapitated uh, very soon. And in fact, within the army, they start to kill off certain members within there whom he's a little bit distrustful of. And our main character sees this and decides, you know what? This isn't for me. This seems to be going a little bit down the crazy path. I'm just going to leave. Um, of course, he has to fight his way out and get away. But he, he does so. He meets a woman settles down, begins a farming the land, has a child, when, wouldn't you believe it, his past catches up with him. We've got a side story of one of the soldiers in the army who is power hungry uh, and kill mad, uh, and he starts to take power within the army, killing off anybody. It could be a threat to him, and ultimately, you know, there's going to be a battle of heads <laughs> at some point. Um, it's just it's so much fun. I love the idea of this device. It's so ridiculous and silly. Uh, and to see people that try to avoid it when they could literally just do this. Or this. <laughs> but they don't quite do that. They never get away from it. Um, the logic uh, and, again, physics don't really count in this movie. You get to see this flying guillotine doing some crazy things as it seems to spin through the air cutting down whatever it touches uh, and just taking heads off everybody that it happens to. And, and even though the story becomes a little bit tropey and familiar and you can kind of tell where the beats are going to go, it doesn't matter because there is a sense of fun. I like the characters, the relationships. I hated the bad guy. I wanted him to get, him, get his comeuppance and lose his head at the end of the movie. And... The beats are all there. We know where the movie's going to land and it's just getting there. And we land uh, in a particularly wonderful Shaw Brothers movie. The Flying Guillotine was a real surprise. I loved it from the opening shot as we are introduced to this ridiculous weapon. We get training montages. We get to see the weapon in action. You get to see people going a little bit power mad as they realise what they can do with this thing and start to usurp various forces within the Emperor's army. It has all these factions going on, but at the heart of it, it's entertaining. And what more can you ask? The finale was everything I hoped it was going to be. Uh, and a lot of people do lose their heads in that finale, which was a real surprise, because uh, the odds aren't really in one faction's favour. And I was just a little surprised about how that played out but ultimately the flying guillotine was pure joy great entertainment i had a wonderful time watching this thing i would happily watch it again man just 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 a smile inducing entertaining shaw brothers flick i'd love to know your thoughts on the flying guillotine let me know in the comment box below and i'll see you next time on man v film